Hi, welcome. My name is Liz and you are tuning into Liz Dern Yoga. So today we're going to be focusing on a 10 minute stability flow to build strength within our legs and to feel more grounded about our everyday life. So we're going to start in a comfortable seated position. You can sit just like this on top of your heels. And if this doesn't feel good, grab a block or a pillow, take it right in between your feet and then go ahead and sit onto that. From here, let's have your palms come on top of your thighs and palms up or down. That's entirely up to you. If you feel like you need a little bit more energy in your body, maybe this is the morning, you can have your palms up. If it's the end of the day, bring your palms down if you feel like you've expensed enough energy and you want to conserve it for yourself. Wherever you're going is totally okay and I encourage you to close your eyes down so we can take a few moments to just ground ourselves in and to center ourselves onto our mat. You're going to take a big full inhale through your nose and then open your mouth, exhale, sigh it out. One more just like that, inhale through your nose and then open your mouth, exhale, sigh it out. I always like to begin the practice with a few moments of stillness just to feel where you are right now to understand your body, to understand your breath. And doing so without judgment. Just taking some moment to feel. Wherever you are, whatever you're feeling is totally valid. I encourage you to take some time to really tune into your breath now and allowing the breath to fall into samavritti, we like to call an equal pace breath. So your inhales and exhales will be the same length. Doesn't matter how long or how short, it's up to you. I'm just starting to get into the habit of building that balance. And on your next inhale, you're going to sweep your arms up to the sky. You can gaze upwards, interlace your fingers and flip your palms up. Just a nice big stretch, pulling everything apart. And then as you exhale, let's take the twist. You're gonna take your right hand over your left knee and then reach your left hand behind you. Lengthen out through your spine. Your hand can be down or up. That's entirely up to you. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. And as you exhale, take your left hand over your right knee. Right hand reaches back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist. Switching sides, inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist. One last inhale. And twist. Inhale. And twist. Bring it back to center. You're gonna come up off of your block and take yourself into all fours. So your hands are underneath your shoulders and your hips are over your knees. Just start to move into some cat and cow to undulate our spine. And so it doesn't matter what this looks like. It can be fast, it can be slow, it can be big, it can be small. You can even circle out your body in one direction and then circle it out into the other direction. I just like to move in the first few moments of the practice just so you can feel again where you are. Two, and get into the cadence and the rhythm of your breath. And one, finding a nice neutral spine. Pull the belly up and in. Let's extend the right foot back. And then feel your right hip ground down and then hug the lower belly up and in. Start to activate your right butt cheek. And then that's going to help lift your right foot up off of the ground as you inhale. Exhale, pull your knee into your chest. Maybe round through your upper back a little bit more. Inhale, extend back, kick the heel back and bring a little bit more weight into your right hand. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to chest. Now pull up, 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 and then softly step your right foot forward. From here, we're gonna start to shift the weight forwards and back, forwards and back. If the ground is really far, take your blocks or your props and then use them here. Just to get into the fascia and to feel a little bit more movement and warmth in our body. One more breath. 
On your next inhale, you're gonna bend into your front knee, tuck your back toes, and then squeeze your feet in as much as you can towards each other. Sweep your arms up to the sky. From here, tuck your tailbone down, looking for a neutral spine. Extend out through your fingertips, inhale. As you exhale, let's float that back knee and hover over the ground. So if this is too much, feel free to take your hands to heart center or on top of your front thigh. And we're working on pressing down through the feet and then squeezing those feet in nice and close towards each other. And you wanna squeeze that back glute, just fire it up a little bit more. Three, two, exhale, bring your hands down to the ground, straighten out both legs. Again, feel free to use your blocks. Lengthen your spine, inhale. And then as you exhale, you're gonna slowly just pulse that back heel up and down. And it doesn't matter if the heel touches the ground or not, just looking for some dynamic movement. One more breath. Rebend into the front knee, step your back foot forward to the front of the mat, halfway lift, inhale, hands to shins. Lengthen your spine and pull the low belly up. As you exhale, bend your knees, belly to thigh, fold forwards. Now shake your head out, maybe yes, maybe no, oh, that was the opposite way. Maybe no, maybe yes. Maybe sway a little bit side to side, side to side. One more breath, inhale, and exhale. Slowly roll yourself up one vertebra at a time until you can sweep your arms up to the sky, gaze up. Exhale, squeeze your butt, cactus your arms, lift your chest, feel your shoulders, go down and in, and focus on the expansion through your upper back. Inhale, reach your arms back up to the sky, pull the belly up, and then start to shift the weight forwards into your toes, lift your heels. We're gonna feel the balls of our feet and grips into the toes. Breathe. Three, imagine that there's a block in between your legs. Two, reach up higher with your fingertips. As you exhale, bring your heels down and start to shift the weight back, pull your belly up and in. Finding your chair pose, extending out through the arms, inhale. Exhale here. One more breath, inhale. As you exhale, bring your hands down to the ground. Step your left foot back and keep your heel nice and high. Squeeze those feet in towards each other. Sweep your arms up to the sky. Stabilizing through the front foot. Breathe in. Activate your back glute. Breathe out. Take your hands on top of your front thigh. You're going to lean your chest forwards at a 45. Bring just a light pressure on top of your front knee. And then we're going to tap our back foot up to our right heel. Extend your left foot back and up back and up four up three up two up one sweep your arms back up to the sky tailbone tuck slightly and then soften into your back knee hover over the ground hold it three two and then slowly bring your left knee down bring your left hand to the mat and you're going to spin your left foot to the left side as you sweep your right foot to the back of your mat Ground down through the outer edge of your right foot. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, reach the right arm overhead. Breathe. Try to push away from the ground too, just feeling the nice stretch through your right side. And one, bring your right hand down to the floor. Right knee comes back, tabletop. Firm up through the low belly. Extend your left leg back. Bring more weight into the left hand and then squeeze your left butt cheek to lift the foot up off of the ground. Inhale, as you exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend back. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend back. Exhale, knee to chest, squeeze, 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 and then step your foot forward to the front of the mat. Go ahead and grab your blocks if you need it, and we're gonna do some dynamic movements forward and back. Two, and one from here. Ground down through the front foot. Tuck the back toes and then squeeze those feet in towards each other. Sweep your arms up. Tailbone's gonna tuck down so we find a nice neutral spine. Pressing into your back foot, hover that back knee over the ground. Again, if this is too much, you can be here, you can be here. Your choice, hold. Squeeze your right butt so you can find the stability through your feet. Four, three, Maybe smile. Two, and one. Bring your hands down to the ground. Straighten out both legs. Keep the back heel high, lengthen your spine, and then we're gonna pulse that back heel up and down. One more breath, inhale. 
and exhale bend into your left knee step your right foot forward to the top of the mat halfway lift inhale as you exhale soften into the knees fold forward inhale roll yourself all the way up squeeze your glutes arms reach up exhale cactus your arms lift your chest inhale arms come back up tuck your tailbone down belly up lift those heels fire up those inner thighs twinkle toes let's walk backwards feeling the balls of our feet good and then walk forwards can you stay higher lifting your heels up one more breath to find stillness and then exhale bring the weight to your heels maybe toes can lift up off the ground this time and sink your butt down finding your chair pose breathe three two exhale hands come down to the ground step your right foot back press down through both feet sweep your arms up to the sky inhale as you exhale you're going to bring your hands to your front thigh lean your chest forwards bend into the front knee and then tap right foot up and back up and back keep that left knee bent up and back three and back two and back one and back great job inhale arms up as you exhale bend into the back knee and just hover over the ground last two and one bring your knee down bring your right hand down to the ground and spin the right foot to the right side swing your left foot back outer edge of that back foot inhale to reach up and then exhale bring it overhead just a nice deep stretch to the left side two and one bring your left hand down to the ground shift it back tabletop tuck your toes inhale hips up and back downward facing dog breathe in breathe out slowly walk your hand back to meet your feet halfway lift inhale exhale fold it forward inhale roll yourself all the way up sweep your arms up to the sky and then as you exhale you're going to bring your hands to your hips pull your right knee into your chest wherever you go is fine don't think about it step your right foot forward back heel high this is your high lunge inhale arms up exhale soften into your back knee hover over the ground inhale extend hands to your hips pull your left knee up to your chest exhale left foot steps back arms up inhale exhale back knee hovers inhale extend hands to your hips okay this is a tricky one you're gonna push off the front foot push back up hold and release shift the weight to your right foot left knee comes up inhale nice big step forwards try to do this with control back heel high squeeze your back glute arms up soften into the back knee inhale lift up exhale right knee to your chest inhale exhale step back back knee hovers over the ground inhale back up exhale pull your left knee up to your chest find the balance and then release great job take your feet slightly wider heels and toes out reach your arms up and then take it back into a malasana breathe in breathe out one more breath here and now slowly walk your hands back forwards and you're gonna come onto your belly just for a little sphinx pose pressing down through the hands lifting your chest bring your right hand to your left bend your left knee and just grab the inside of your left foot and try to touch your heel towards your butt we're looking for a stretch in the quad so if you don't feel that maybe you can go a little bit further heel to the outside and then your hands will wrap around the toes elbow up push away from the ground wherever you are is totally fine just to stretch out the legs a little bit too and one slowly release let's do the other side left hand towards your right bend your right knee reach behind you find the stretch where you feel it in your quads top of your front thigh maybe it goes to the outside two and one gently release lift your chest for one more breath inhale and as you exhale you're going to shift your weight back sit on top of your heels reach your arms upwards and then bring hands to heart center and just take a moment here 
to feel in this short period of time the energy in your body, the cadence in your breath. Take some time to appreciate just what you did and what you've accomplished, even if that was just showing up. You can stay here, you can enter into Shavasana, you can repeat this flow a couple times, but thank you so much for joining me and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Namaste.